Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Pasolakis here at 31. I wanted to take a minute to help you customize your replicated website. As a 31 consultant, you are eligible to subscribe to a monthly website. 31 manages it, maintains, and updates this website for you. You have the opportunity to actually customize your website. So first and foremost, everybody's website starts off being www.my31.com forward slash your consultant ID number. So you need to know what your customer or your um, consultant ID number is because that's not going to change. The thing that you can do is customize that website at the very end. Instead of using your ID, you can change it to a name or to something that's more meaningful to you. So I'm going to show you how to, do, how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is go to the very top. You're going to go to 31today.com and you're going to click on Virtual Office. Click on Virtual Office and when you do that, it's going to take you directly to your home page. You're going to hover over Home and you're going to click on Profile. So Home and then Profile. Click on Profile, and once you get there, it's going to pull up a lot of different tabs, but you're going to want to go to this one right here, My Website Information. When you go to your website information, you should see your URL, your website, my31.com forward slash your consultant ID number. Everybody should have that, that if you subscribe to the website. The thing that you're eligible to do is rename it and you have a second way to get there. Your ID will always take you there, but you can rename it like I have, www.my31.com forward slash Jennifer. I have found that is a lot easier for my customers to remember and looks a little bit more personal on my labels and on my business cards. I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to want to go down here and click on Personalize. Click on Personalize, and it's going to bring up a box of information that you're going to want to fill in. First and foremost, your name to show. That's the name that you go by, the name that you want your customers to call you. And I did a little dash here and put my um, title there. That's something I'm proud of, something I've worked for. And it gives you a little bit of ownership, of leadership, if you are in that. The next box is where you're actually going to customize your website. This is a place for you to put one word. Now, you can see it says my website name, one word only. So mine is forward slash Jennifer. You may want to do your first initial, your last name, or maybe you've got a word that is meaningful to you. Whatever you want your website to be, you're going to put it in there. Remember, there's no spaces. It's not case sensitive, so you can do all lowercase. doesn't matter. Once you do that, you may want to just go down here and click Save. So you know that that website um, is available. Because if you had typed in Jennifer, it would tell you that it's, no, it's not available, obviously because someone has that. But try, try that just a couple of times and hit save before you do anything else, just so you can get that website um, kind of stuck in there. Now there are a couple other things I wanted to show you on this as well. There's two boxes, meta description and meta keywords. Meta description is kind of like that one sentence description, 25 words or less, about your business. And so this is a, a place for you to put something that you want um, people to know about your business. I put everyday solutions for, par for parties online. Um, so you guys can put something there. So let's say someone Googled you and your website came up. This would be that one little description underneath your website link. Meta keywords is um, where you get to do a little bit more play in here. Um, anything that you think somebody would Google, somebody would do a search for on the internet, and you would want your website to come up. So I'm just kind of scrolling through so you can see mine. But one of the things I would tell you to put in there, for sure put your first name and your last name. I would tell you to put anything in there that you would want your website to come up if people um, searched for you. Purses, totes, thermals, lunch bags. I would put Jennifer Pasolakis. I would put my hometown, my state that I live in, maybe states that I want to grow in. Then you've got these boxes that you want to check here. I always have at least one telephone number checked. 
I don't ever check address because that it doesn't matter where I live. I can sell all in all 50 states. Okay, so I don't put my address. Show email, show picture. Now, if you do that, you're going to have to upload a picture, and that was on the screen before. Show my parties. So if I have parties online, that's on my online calendar. I want to make sure that they show up. And show me on locator. So if someone ever was looking for me um, in Tennessee, that would give them permission to let them know that I'm a consultant available in that state. Okay, um, and then at the very bottom, you actually have a place that you can put a welcome message. It's just like Word, Microsoft Word, where you can bold and italicize and you underline. Um, and if anything, this is where you get to tell your story. This is where you get to talk about why you do 31, what's your goal, what do you hope to achieve, what have you achieved. Now, I have used um, a little bit of... Um, I used photobucket.com to put a picture in there. So I got an HTML code and just basically inserted my picture. But you don't have to be that fancy if you don't want to. But you do want to put welcome to my website. I am a 31 consultant because I fell in love with the products because I'm looking to earn extra income. Whatever your story is, this is what you want to take time to do your welcome message. Don't let that be blank. Okay. And then once you do that, you just click save. You'll get that green little check mark real quick. Did you guys see that? Let me do it one more time. Say, see that green check mark? That means all my changes went through. Then you can just click the X and you should see your website come up here. If you don't, just hit refresh and it should pop up there. Okay, upload photo is where you want to add a photo of you. Okay, this does not need to be a picture of your you and your dog or you and your children. It really truly needs to be an up close personal picture of you because it's very, very tiny. You can see on the website that it's really tiny. Okay, so get you a fun little um, profile picture there. All right, girls, well, I hope that helped and I cannot wait to see what you customize your website to be.